What is up, guys, and welcome to the Beyond Sanas channel. My name is Shanks. In 2D, we are going to play a free for all match on the map Dim Real Deal in Battle for Middle Earth 1 on the patch 2.22. Everybody is picking random. It's a six player free for all match, and we get to play the Rohan faction, Master the Rohirrim. I personally don't enjoy free for all matches that much because I'm telling you guys, every single time I'm playing free for all match, it feels like I'm playing against one, two, three, four people at the same time. And even though it's quite challenging, but it can it can also be quite frustrating from time to time. However, in this one, we have actually at least some vaults protecting us early on, and we can make a hero party. You know, we can recruit Legolas, Elma, Theodin, Elvin, Gimli. Like, Rohan is the most heroes, as you guys know, from all the factions in Battle for Middle of One, and we can kind of, you know, have some fun with that. And for that reason, we need to build multiple farms inside the castle, and get to the mid to late game in which we can develop our heroes to a very high level but at the beginning of the game i would like to still pick up the draft from the spellbook just because we will need that later on anyway to get to the anduril to make our aragon hit like a truck and also more tanky and also with the peasants early on we can scout you know we can see what the enemy factions are we can see what they are doing in this way we know what is awaiting us Okay, Meriorak Brandybok, you will go to the bottom right side, my friends, to capture the settlement, and we gotta keep moving on to see what is going on. So, I wanna see the faction next to me, because, you know, the problem is we are in the middle, guys. So, we are in the middle on the right side. We are in a sandwich situation. There is a high chance that we might get attacked from both the sides at the same time. So, going for the heroes... Uh, might not be the best ideal situation for us, but we can try our best to make it work anyway. And for that reason, we need to have like a good early game. We need to keep our settlements protected as long as we can. Oh, he's using Eye of Sauron. And we gotta try to, you know, actually with I have no chance. Like, yes, even Golem around this side, we won't be able to deal any kind of damage. And because I want to recruit heroes first, and with heroes, I mean, we gotta start with Elma to get Elma to level 4 for leadership and also for outlaw leadership. You know, to make money from killing enemy units. Uh, I don't want to recruit multiple peasants. Which, uh, that's going to delay my Elma and all the other heroes later on. Okay, so like expected, we won't be able to deal any damage. But we were actually able to kill some workers. At least that's better than nothing. And that's the one thing you can always do. If you realize, okay, you are not able or you will not be able to take down the enemy Amri Mill. You can always try to take down as many workers as you can. And yeah, now Elma and then Legolas, that's the plan. Hopefully we will be in a good spot. The beginning, if you will go for the, for like a hero heavy playstyle with Rohan, the beginning is going to be a bit more slow, but it's a very good scaling strategy into the mid to late game. I want to see what he's doing with Meriadoc Brandybok. We can use the Elven Cloak to get him invisible. This way he's going to be untargetable. And Elma, the horse lord of Rohan, is being recruited as we are talking. We gotta close the gate because, you know, uh, I don't want to be gate rushed. And I know many of you guys are always asking Shanks, but why don't you just make a post on gate? And I get it. But, get dude, ready. it's hard to explain. Earlier, like many, many years ago, when you used to play Battle for Middle Earth Online, it was like a gentleman's agreement. Even though you could, you know, arguably build post on gates anyway, but people didn't respect the people if they would choose to gate rush. You know what I'm saying? And for that reason, it's like a habit. I'm still not closing the gates because I'm not expecting to be gate rushed. Can we actually steal the creep? That would be awesome. Please, come on. Mary, 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 Mary. I trust you, Mary. I trust you, Mary. Shoot. Oh, that's unlucky. Dude, even the works are attacking us. Can you? And we didn't get the money either. Oh, my. Okay. Unlucky, I guess. But the good thing is, we can use Elma now to get a little bit amount of experience here. To get him to level 3, 4. That's gonna be a huge power spike. Level 3 unlocks the outlaw leadership, which means money, money, money every time we kill enemy units. Level 4 is gonna be the biggest power spike. Because that's going to make the nearby cavalry units next to Emma even stronger. More damage and more combat experience. So pretty good. Because we will go for the you know, cavalry anyway. We will be recruiting some Rohirrim and Rohirrim archers in this game later on. Okay, so we are at 2,000 plus. We need to collect a little bit more money. And we are ready to recruit 
uh, Legoras. We can fight this a little bit, even though we have no heal from the spellbook, but Elma is fast enough to disengage when we need to. So we should be in a good spot. I mean, the Gondonites, they won't deal too much damage to my Elma because they have no upgrades yet. And we should be just able to kill one of them and disengage. Ah, never mind. He doesn't want to fight us. Okay. Rally to me. Riders of the Mark. Follow my lead. Go with haste. All right, so we are in a good spot. We will have now in total three farms up on, up on the field. That's pretty good. And after Legolas, we actually, you know, should be recruiting Theodin because Theodin is a bit more affordable. Going for Aragorn right off the bat is going to be kind of more tough because Aragorn is the most expensive hero from the Rohan faction, as you guys know. And for that reason, let's stick up with Theodin, Elma, and Legolas first. And Legolas is great against Mortar, so we can, and they have also Gondor. So basically, when you get levels on Legolas, you can also kill Gandalf in no time. And also against Mordor, you can kill Trolls, Moomin Kills, and also Nazgûls, and obviously also Witch King. And this Mordor is actually pressuring us a lot, and losing the farms is not a good thing from Rohan faction, because Rohan is the one faction with only seven available spots inside the castle. So you heavily rely uh, on the resource income from the farms outside of your castle. So we are level 3, that's good, that means more money. And now, Theoden is gonna be joining the battlefield. Eowyn coming up next. This way we have Spear Trolls, you know. And with Spear Trolls, as we are, you know, fighting against Mordor, there is a high chance that he might go for a Nazgul or a, or a Witch King. And we have Eowyn Spear, which will chunk the Nazgul or the Witch King a lot. And also Legolas is gonna be able to deal great amount of damage. And with this two combination, we can eventually be able to take down the Nazgul from 100 to 0 in like 2 seconds. Here then next to Emma as we are throwing spear. There we go. You see, this way we were able to share passively experience with Theorin. He was doing nothing but standing next to Emma, and he got a full level from that. That's very important to share experience with your heroes to level them up this way a bit easier. You need to make sure that the last hit is getting get you know going to get by Elma and Theorin. Beautiful. Theorin almost level three, and Elma is level four. That's what we wanted. That looks pretty pretty nice. Now, armory, armory first, you know, we can obviously go for the stable first, but I personally, in a stage like that, we can also go for the armory first, get, oh, never, look, this guy's already a troll on the field, but that's a bad thing from him, we can snipe this troll, right, we have Elma, Elvin, and there is also a Nazgul, ah, oh, okay, I mean, we can kill this troll anyway with Elma, Elma's spear doesn't need to be saved for... The Nazgul because Elma's spear doesn't deal almost no damage to Nazgul. So Elvin's spear is gonna be kept only for the Nazgul exclusively. Level 3 Theorin, that's dope. He's desperately trying look, Elvin is fighting against the <laughs> uh, he's desperately trying to take down the farm. That's let you know, let him have it. You can have it. You can have it for now. But I will take it back later on. Trust me on that one. I mean we have so much money at this point. Um I think we are in a good spot. Like I don't see any big threat as we are talking, right? Let's go for all, all the upgrades from the armory. Hobbit! Bill, Bill, Bill! Don't die. Okay, the tower is doing a good job. Hey, hey, hey! Hey, hey, hey! You wanna fight? You wanna, you wanna play rough? Say hello to my little girl! There we go. Smite. And Hulk Strike. This Wombo combo can be enough. Oh, he is paying attention. Okay, I mean... Hmm, that's not good. He was paying attention, he's peeling, but maybe uh, my Legolas can still chase him down a little bit. Now nah, he's... Oh, oh, oh! Dude, Legolas, do it! Legolas, do it! Legolas! Phew! <laughs> Alright, two more shots, two more shots! Come on, come on, one more, one more! Nice! Legolas, the Prince of the Mirgur Elves, is popping! Oh, that's what I like to see. That's dope. Okay, that's great though. We have now Legolas level 4. That's huge, by the way, because now we have the Train Arches ability unlocked, which means we can use it also on the Rohirrim Arches to level them up to level 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. You know, and every level in BFME 1 is so incredibly impactful. We are definitely in a phenomenal spot because also our Theodin is really close to get to level 4, which is going to be a massive power spike. And there comes another Nazgul, but I don't know about that. Nazgul, you got to bail, my friend. Eowyn's spear is almost back up. And we are also holding great amount of map control, even though we have only heroes up on the field for now. Okay, we are waiting for the upgrades to be finished. And sending one troll outside. <laughs> I don't know about that, brother. 
I don't think that's gonna do too much for you. Let's smite. Smite him. And we gotta we gotta make sure that Elvin's spear is available for the worst case scenario. You know what I'm saying? That's very important. Because uh, he, had a, he has an Asgul, right? He has potentially even a Witch King. So we need to make sure to save the burst damage against the Witch King or the Nazgul and not waste it on a troll. And we have almost the Anduri Sword too. We need to get the Archer range to level 2. That's very important. Oh, what? <laughs> Hold on a second. This guy's a Mumma kill? Okay. I mean, we are not ready yet. Hey, we need to kind of try to buy some time. Elmer's spears should also be able to deal some bonus damage to the Mumma kill. Dude, I wasn't expecting this too early. <laughs> okay. Spear throw him. Chunk him, please. Oh, nice. We chunked him a lot. And, uh, you know, Legolas can shoot from a safe distance all the time. And Mumma kill is very slow until he will get into the range in, in which he can charge. But Legolas is fast enough to disengage. Boom. Now you want to play? Let's smite. Oh, oh, Nazgul, rest in peace. <laughs> I am no man. And there comes the second strike on the Nazgul. And you see, that's what I'm talking about. Now the bottom Mordor, I mean, we are in sandwich situation. There, are, there is a Mordor, you know, top on top of us and also one Mordor at the bottom side of us. So they are both attacking us all the time. But luckily for us, we were able to, you know, hold the line. For now, so good. And they are also feeding us a lot of power points, you know? So we have Anduril's Sword already unlocked. We have now maximum leadership available for the archers. And we are now getting also fire arrow purchase. We can build the stable now um, to get some Rohirrim and Rohirrim archers upon the field. And we should be in a perfectly fine spot. Let's build a wall banner. Let's demolish the uh, farm eventually. We can build a statue. And remember, we can stack all this leadership together. So wall banner for increased DPS, armor, and range in the farm can be re you know, replaced with the statue and we can also have more damage from that. And we can even put the heroes next to the arches for even more damage. I'm gonna show you and showcase you how strong those arches can become. Okay, so fire arrow for the burst, right? And remember, Mumma kills are... Oh my goodness, what? This guy's legit a Mumma kill army in front of my castle. But it's fine. Guys, hey, please pay attention, whatever you are doing. Whatever you are doing, I want you to pay attention now. And as you are paying attention, also make sure to leave a like on this video, since I got your attention now. But now we gotta place those heroes next to the archers. And oh my goodness, <laughs> they will hit like a truck. Watch this. Remember, the biggest weakness of Mumma Kills is fire anyway. So when we place now Aragorn and Theory next to the archers, they, they will glow, shine bright like a damn. Watch this. Let's go. Now, watch this. Shoot. <laughs> Dude, this is unbelievable. Remember, 30% more damage from Theodine, 30 uh, 50% more damage from the Aragorn. And uh, hallelujah, man. Hallelujah. They are burning. They are burning just like in the films. And who needs ranges when you have those Yeoman archers? And look at that. Look, we have sniped four Mumma kills like they were made of paper. And all of that is because of the insane damage boost of the fire arrows, leadership from Volbana, statue. And I know you guys don't like, you know, me to talk about the stacking system all the time. But I'm always acting like there might be somebody new to the channel who has not, who doesn't have enough knowledge about Battle for Middle Earth yet. You know what I'm saying? And I want to make it a bit more educational for you guys. So hopefully you will be able to learn a thing or two from watching the videos as well. So, the only bad thing about the situation is that we have no Glorious Charge yet. And uh, we are really close um, for the Elven Allies, I mean. We might go for the Elven Allies to have a little bit more damage power on, on the field. And... Okay. Oh, what? Somebody is actually disconnecting. I think that's the Mordor with the Mumma Kills. <laughs> Super Banjo is out, yo. Okay, but it's fine. We can continue playing though. It's not a big deal. Uh, Spobanjo. Okay, he was not able to get back. And that's gonna be now a five player free for all map. I mean, nobody else is defeated yet. And we are really strong right now. I mean, we are really, really strong. Okay, so at this point, we need to get more and more Rohirrim matches. And we can also level them up now with Legolas, like mentioned before. Look at that. And boom. Three archers. Wait until they are level two. Nice. Let's go for it. And boom. Level them up. 
Pew, nice. You see, one of them got level two from level one, and the other one got level three from level two. So two Rohir matches, and I don't know if this is gonna be enough, but we can play a bit more aggressively now. So far, we were only defending because we have we had like no units on the field, but that is changed. We need to also try a little bit more about uh, or care about the map control a bit more. Okay, um, yeah, we can go for the Elven Wood just in case the enemy might use the thing to land on us so we can cover this and uh, keep our leadership even a bit greater which is always a good thing in give me one okay so um, uh, let's fight for the middle first of all in the meantime we can also keep recruiting more and more units and uh, rohirrim arches are our primary army in the situation because again we have double more to open it so rohirrim can't do much against trolls mumu kills and nazgus that's why we need fire and damage power oh my what are you doing trolls <laughs> watch them watch them oh okay you want to commit now you want to commit now we, that, and that's why i laugh about that's what i laugh about a lot uh, about uh, lord of the rings anyway but about the rohirrim matches you know what i'm saying because you have the chance to disengage you are so mobile the trolls cannot catch you he's using the ability uh, okay, hey, you know what? Say hello to my artist on top of the wall, my friend. Pew, 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 pew. <laughs> and hey, Legolas, and the Nazgul has been sniped just like that. Dude, don't underestimate those artists on top of the wall. I'm telling you. They have insane amount of levels now, bursting like crazy. And now, as they are disengaging, we are able to hunt them down. And that's so good about the Rohirrim artists. I'm telling you. Look at that. They have no chance. And we have the pillage from um, Elma. It means every time we kill those trolls or Nazgûls or anything else, we will get a lot of money. It's so good. We are in a very good spot. And our power points are rising to the sky anyway. Oh, there comes a Nazgûl. Hey, guess what? How long will the Nazgûl be able to stand? Hold on, hold on. There is a Witch King. Okay, nice. So we have Glorious Judge as we are talking, boys. That's dope. Aragorn wasn't even with us. So Aragorn can also join the party. Aragorn is fast, by the way. Anduril's sword is also giving you a uh, speed bonus. That means you can, of course, not keep up with the Rohirrim, but you can be quite fast. And uh, we don't need to sit in the base with Aragorn, you know. He's too expensive for that. So we need to kind of make sure that he's always uh, following the army and supporting them with additional heal, uh, recovery, and also more damage. Okay, we need to recruit definitely a bit more units, though. Let's reclaim the settlement, first of all, at the bottom right side. And, we, you know, we have now two options. So we can either go for the uh, Elven Alliance Summon from the Spellbook. We can also skip that and go for the End Summon or for the Cloud Break. I believe the most solid choice here would be definitely the Cloud Break. To slow down the enemy trolls. This way we can disengage better and catch them or chase them down easier. Okay, we need to wait for the well to come up, heal up a bit, and then we can rotate and go for the attack, boys. Dude, I'm 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 so excited about to show you guys what is gonna happen because we are so extremely strong. You can't even understand how strong we are at this point. And you know, some people are you know kind of complaining about Rohan. Rohan is too weak. Rohan is dead. You don't know in this. I'm sorry, but you don't know what to do with Rohan in this case. When you know what to do with Rohan, and when you get a good early game, do the snowballing effect with Rohan faction in Battle for Middle or Fun is something else. Look at this one shotting the catapult just like that. And let's hunt down the trolls. Boom, 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 boom. They have no chance. Look at that. <laughs> what can the second they want to engage on us, we have the chance to disengage. And that's only for Rohan. Look at the trolls. You see them? I mean, you can't because they, you, they are invisible. Now we have the Elvin Wood cover this. The Witch King thinks he can fight us, but little he knows because we are no men. I mean, I mean we are men, but not in this situation. Okay, let's kill those catapults with Aragorn and our mounted heroes. No problemo. We are on the Glorious Charge. Glorious Charge is basically making our Rohirrim and Rohirrim matches and even Theorin nearly invincible. Okay, we have five power points in the bank after the Elvin Wood and Anduril Sword. So we are only two away from getting the Cloud Break unlocked. I believe the end summon in a situation like that wouldn't be really uh, too impactful. And yeah. So now let's keep them all together. We have also highly leveled through here matches. And remember, we can keep leveling them up all the time with Legolas if you want to. And beautiful. Now, uh, <laughs> we know the mortal player is at the top right side, right? We know that. 
It means we can now try to attack somebody else. I want to see what is going on on this map. I want to see who is fighting else. We must remain wary. Let us have some of that. Men of the Okay, so let's go now to the bottom left side. I mean, Gimli, I, I don't know if I want... Oh, that's a big arm. Holy moly, Isengard is going inside the jeans. Let's use Hulk Strike and Bale. I mean, this army is looking scary to me. Pew! Oh, nice shot. They got us. But that's still only counts as one, Kappa. And... I'm not sure if we should engage on this one. I'm, I'm not confident yet. I mean, they will have a fight eventually, Rohan and Isengard. There is, I mean, we know now there is there was two Mordor, one Rohan and one Isengard. And Isengard is the scariest one. And for that reason, I actually want to take out Isengard first, guys. Now, you might be wondering, hey, thank you so much for the follow on the Twitch channel. Appreciate it. Uh, Zio Mayalski. Thank you, thank you. Now, you might be wondering, but Shanks, why is Isengard... Hold on a second. This guy is coming with catapults to me. Why is Isengard the most threatening one? It's because of the freezing rain. That means our army is so relying on Theodine, Theodine's leadership, Elma's leadership, Glorious Charge, Aragorn's leadership, that if we lose all of that, we lose so much strength, you know? And that's bad for us. So for that reason, we need to make sure to take down Isengard first. That means nothing. But I mean literally nothing with that army after that in Balrog can stop our army anymore. Oh, we have also Gondor. I see Faramir. Look at him. He's like solo here, <laughs> trying to show his quality. But Faramir, you gotta build, my friend. You gotta build. All right, so this Mordor was trying to attack me. And it's time to have like a payback now. You know what I'm saying? It's time to show him our strength and power. So you gotta think twice. Oh, okay. Glorious charge. Come on. You gotta heal, heal. Oh, the S double Nazgul too. But remember, we have killed the Witch King before. The catapults are shooting from downtown. But good thing is, we have Glorious charge. That again makes our units extremely tanky. Our normal Rohirrim, they gotta take care of these catapults as soon as possible. Let's focus down the trolls and then the Nazgul's. And power points are literally rising to sky. We, we should be in a good spot, I believe. We can always be back and heal up. We see also War Riders upon the field. But I wanna heal up here a little bit, you know? Because we took so much damage. The good thing about the good factions is we have so much recovery. We have a well for the infinite sustain. So we should be in a very good spot. Uh, Cloudbreak coming up next. Um, because Cloudbreak is also good against cavalry. Since you are able to slow them down, you slow their movement speed. That means your cavalry is going to be able to outrun them, chase and catch and kill them. Keep leveling up all the time. It's a free ability. You can use it whenever it's available. Keep recruiting more and more. We have almost full population now with Rohirrim Marches. That's dope. I mean, I'm a big fan of these units. They are so unique. And, you know, that's like a combination of Rohirrim and like a Yeoman Archer. And that's quite busted. That's why they are so expensive. And that's why Fire Arrow Upgrade is also so expensive for the Rohan faction. But if you get to this point, you should be having the craziest dps ever and look guys i'm gonna show you show you now how you can kill those wards even though they are trying to disengage boom cloud break first of all we gotta stun them they cannot move right and after the stun for like 30 seconds they are slowed by 30 percent it means even if they will try to get away we will be able to run them down and with the cloud break you want to use it in a situation in which you can get even more power points unlocked i mean that's the way you want to handle the power points right you want to use them you get even more power. Hold on a second. You want to fight? You want to fight? Are you sure about that? Wait for the glorious charge. Our Elma got crippled down, by the way. Oh, we cannot move. Elma, please. You want to arrow vent? Hold on. Hold on. Theodine. Right now. For death and glory. Boom. Arrow vent is coming in clutch. Boom. Boom. Everything is falling in pieces. You want to you wanna focus down the heroes. So we, we need... We have killed Saruman already. Now we got to kill Lourdes. Okay? That's the plan. But, I mean, everything is falling apart anyway. What is Lourdes doing? Lourdes is diving into deep. Lourdes, you are dead, my friends. And look how many power points we were able to collect from one single battle. Can you imagine that? It's unbelievable. The focus in the, you know, which target you want to focus and kill first is extremely important. So, when it comes to fight against Rohan now, we got to make sure to every single time to kill his heroes. That's our priority. Okay, so we have so much money, dude. Holy crap. We cannot even recruit any more units as we are talking. So we are quite rich. I mean, you can have, you can have always more money, but I think we are in a good spot. This Mordor is trying again, but, you know, it's going to be a deja vu situation for, me, my for you, my friend. Trust me on that one. And we are only three power points and two and a half power points, actually, away from getting the ELD. The Offbreaker Special Summon from the Rohan Spellbook unlocked. 
And that's, that's like a game winning point at this point. We don't even need that, let's be honest. You know, we are so strong. I'm not sure yet if we should be attacking Isengard or Mordor. Because I believe if I don't attack this Mordor anytime soon, he will keep attacking and sieging our castle with catapults and also with trolls. But I want to also take down this Isengard before Isengard gets strong enough. Now I'm like in a, in a dilemma situation. I don't know which route I should be following. Let's level them up also with Theorin. That's pretty good. More and more levels. More strength. More power. More tankiness. And now... Uh, let's go. <laughs> you know, we are so strong, dude. Holy moly, guys. Oh, man. And you guys don't like Rohan, I think, right? Not many of you guys like Rohan, but I don't know why. I mean, Rohan is very solid faction. Early game with the peasant spam. Mid game with Elma. I mean, yeah. I, I've read in comments. I read every single comment. Some of you guys saying, yeah, but Rohan needs... Um, devasti uh, not devastation, but... Uh, marketplace because Rohan is only seven spots but you gotta keep in mind that Rohan is the cheapest heroes right and also the cheapest stable the cheapest horses and if you give now Rohan even more money Rohan is already in a very good spot trust me on that one like Rohan doesn't need any buffs guys hey hey I can cover this hey kill the trolls first you don't need to kill the drama trolls the trolls are the main damage dealers from the army of Mordor, and once we kill them, we should be in a perfectly fine spot. And at this point, we are just fishing tower points. It was actually a nice hit from the drama troll, though. Okay, we won this fight hardcore. And I'm pretty tempted to go now for the Mordor and at least take down his siege warriors. Oh, I see Gond Gandalf the Grey. Guys, can you imagine? We are one power point away from getting to EOD. In the Gondor open end, has not even Gandalf the White Power yet. <laughs> Can you what is going on? Dude, okay, Gandalf, you I will let you live this time. I see also Faramir. We have Legolas level 7. This guy is gonna hit like a truck. Whenever Gandalf tries to come anywhere close to our army, we will be blowing him up in two seconds. Only one power point away from getting the EOD summon unlocked. Full population with Rohirrim archers. And almost every single hero beside Merry and Gimli. And I personally like Gimli a lot, don't get me wrong, but I feel like Gimli cannot keep up with his speed. Like, Legolas and um, also Aragorn are also not mounted heroes, but they are extremely mobile, while Gimli is so sloppy. He's tanky, he's hitting very hard, very strong, reliable, don't get me wrong, but, you know, it's annoying when your entire army is together and we have, like, in, on the other side of the map, Gimli trying to, you know, catch up with the army, it's just not fun. To have to watch every single time over him, you know what I'm saying? This way I have like my full attention on this one army and that's enough. Okay, now it's the time to go for the Mordor. I mean, hopefully he has not too many catapults up on the field, you know? You have also normal Rohirrim for the worst case scenario. You want to mix it up a little bit, you know, when it comes to deal with catapults, you want to have like normal Rohirrim to send in first. They are also more tanky. He can absorb more damage. He has a Nazgul Witch King, plenty of trolls. Let's use Cloud Break. Glorious Charge. And let's try to take down the Siege Warriors. Oh, he has two Nazguls and Witch King. And look at how many catapults he has in the castle. Let's snipe them all. Snipe them all. Let's kill the Witch King first. Look, Witch King. <laughs> Witch King. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, can we please kill the Siege Warriors already? Kill the trolls first. Hey, killed Elvin. Elvin was almost dying. You wanna fight Nazgul? I don't know about that Nazgul. Okay, we have more than enough power points for the army of the Red Summon, but I, I think we shouldn't overcommit in this. Oh, what I hit from the catapult. We can kill the Mount Doom. <laughs> I mean, the Baradur or whatever this is. And now we got a Beal. I mean, nobody's defeated yet. The only person defeated was the person who was actually disconnecting, right? We throw boom. Nice. Is the building stuff? We should be in a good spot. I mean, look at our units. Do you see that? Levels like crazy. Level 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Everybody has such a high level. We're in a very good spot. We lost a couple of the units, but it's not the end of the world because we have a lot of money. We have over 10,000 to be able to replace them. I mean, you still don't want to lose too many units, even when you have too much money because you don't want to... Oh, what is he doing? Hey, I have a surprise for you, Isengard. Guys, psh, 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 psh. We have a surprise. We have a... You know, New 2022 Christmas. It's not there yet, but it's going to be there very soon. And that's like a present in advance. Isengard is trying to take the revenge, but say hello to my army of the dead. 
<laughs> that I feel bad for this Isengard. But, Isengard, what you just did was triggering me. And I will come to you now. At the turn of the tide. But this is Nazgul doing. Nazgul, are you out of your mind? Okay, we killed and wiped out the entire Isengard army. That's good. And now we want to use the momentum. And be, you know, without hesitating, we want to go to Isengard and finish him off. Isengard is going to be the first target in our list. And we have all the heroes alive, right? We have, I mean, let me check. Elma, Legolas, Theodin, uh, Elvin, and Aragorn. Very good, very good, very good. And everybody is at bare minimum level 6. That's also good. We are healed up. We have also 7 power points in the bank. We might go for the end summon if needed. <laughs> you know, Gimli. I mean, we have so much money, but... You know, trust me, if you lose all your army, replacing all this army now, reviving all the heroes, and also remaking all these uh, Rohirrim matches, it's going to be so expensive. And you can't even remake them. The, the thing is, if you recruit units again, they will be only level 1, with Banner only level 2. And the amount of, uh, you know, price of a level 10 unit is just insane, right? A level 10 unit is so much more valuable. Hey, Rohan, you don't want to fight this. Rohan, you don't want to fight this. Wait for your order, Rohan. Because let me finish off this Isengard first, okay? Let me finish off this Isengard first. I'm come. Oh, here's Freezing Rain. You know what? I'm going to fight anyway. Do I look like somebody who will back off from a fight? Hey, Saruman, you are stepping up way too forward, my friends. Saruman is no more. Let's use Elvin Woods here. And we have no leadership, but he has no leadership either. You know what I'm saying? Because he has lost a hero and he's fighting on my Elvin Wood. That's a mistake from him. Warchan doesn't even work on the on the Elvin Wood. He can now use Heal, Glorious Charge. And for Death and Glory. I mean, we are outnumbering him big time. Our units are still level 10, even though they have no leadership. But they are still very strong. And... That's the main weakness of the pikeman and crossbowman combo. Yes, they are very solid against trample damage, but they are weak against anything else. The pikes in the front, they are so weak in compared to Uruks when it comes to absorb damage. Like, for example, from fire arrows or from any arrows, right? That's why I personally wouldn't recommend you guys to make pikeman crossbowman combo. Do instead uh, combine the Uruks and crossbowman and then recruit some pikemen and put them inside your combos in porcupine formation. That's a much, much greater solution, guys. Thank me later. Let's send in the ants first. This way we can make sure that every ant is absorbing all the arrows. At this point of the game, Isengard is pretty much like a <laughs> like a arrow city, tower city. Every building is, you know, you can see right now, furnace, Uruk pit, everything literally is able to shoot. And Rohir marches, they are great damage dealers, but they are like glass cannons. They are very vulnerable against damage. And for that reason, we have now the ants, who can, you know, which can absorb lots of damage. That's the that's the goal here. They will not get past me. Let us hunt some orcs. Okay, so we are in a good spot. And I believe if nothing else really happens, we should be able to defeat this Isengard fully. Let's use Cloud Break. Just why not? Ants are still tanking all the arrows. That's very good. And we can keep... I mean, guys, one thing I need to tell you. Keep recruiting units. You don't want to wait until you lose your units. You want to have always some units queued up. That means every time you lose a unit, you have always a replacement coming up, cooking up in the stable archer range, barracks, uruk pits, or whatever you are building. You want to always keep making units. You don't want to make them when you need them. You know what I'm saying? You want to make them before you need them. So they are there when you need them. I mean, Rohan is coming, but Rohan, that's not a good <laughs> good idea, my friends. Look, I'm going to one-shot you. Okay, this Isengard is going to be the first target. That's going to be, I think, the first officially defeated player in this free-for-all match. The other one was actually losing connection. He's lucky. And look at this guy. You want to really do that, Rohan? Peppy has been defeated. I'm sorry for Peppy, my friend. But you are the most scary guy for me, you know? Aragorn, hey, you are a brave man. Look, Aragorn, he's leading the armies forward. Oh, okay, never mind. Yes, he's going to heal him. Ah, he's healing him. He's going to heal him. Oh, like so much HP. Uh, oh, Elma. Elma, the horse lord of Rohan. Again, guys, prioritize the heroes. That's very important. And until the next boom, you see? That's how strong the Rohirrim matches are against heroes. And now we're going to kill Elvin. Boom. Elvin is gone. Elma is gone. Tildin is gone. So we are in a very good spot. Oh, no, I canceled the... Oh, my bad. I can't... No, never mind. It didn't go off. I, I thought I'm, I was missing. Aragorn, you can't run this fast. 
Okay, we gotta keep making more units. Gimli, you're gonna die next. And that was a huge victory for us. AOD is reloading quite, you know, soon. And with the next AOD, we can defeat also Mordor. Okay, so I'm actually wondering what is going on right <laughs> right now on the on the other side of the map. You know what I'm saying? We know the bottom right guy is gone, right? He lost the connection. The bottom left guy, guy got just defeated by us. So we know there are only three players left. You know, it's one Gondor, one Rohan, and one Mordor. And Gondor might be a little bit painful to deal with if he's camping. And on this map, with this much money and possibilities, you have enough, you know, time. Oh, Yura has been defeated too. Did he actually get defeated or did he leave the game? Um, you know, on a map like this, you have plenty of options, right? You basically, how can I say? You can <laughs> build Trebuchet, Stormworker, Numenorean Stormworker, Laser Towers. You have like so much time and also money and possibilities. And if Gondor is camping, and the main weakness of Rohan faction is when it comes to deal with campers. So when somebody is camping with Trebuchet and plenty of towers around the castle, it's, it's the biggest struggle for Rohan faction. But we have AOD, so that's a very great point. We can always use AOD to break through the, through the gates, to kill the enemy catapults and siege weapons, and to absorb all the damage happening from the towers. Okay, so I think uh, with that being said, our next target is going to be actually this Condor. So let's level them up. Look our army, dude. This looks pretty scary to me. And as you defeat more and more people, you have also more and more command points. Remember, at the beginning of the game, we, have on we had only 150. And the way it works in BFME 1, the command points are adaptive. They are actually scaling down the more people are involved into a game. And the more you defeat, the less people are playing the game, and that's why you get more and more command points. Look at this, boys. It's like in the films, you know what I'm saying? Master Duroirim, Elma, take your Eorets to the red, uh, to the right. Hamling. To that. They may come and the courage of Rohirrim might fail, but it is not this day. We are grouping up and we can now build an end mode. And you know, ants wanna also participate. Ants wanna also go to Minas Tirith and take down the White Tree. Because the White Tree once used to be a end, apparently. And I'm, I summon you to fulfill your destiny. And also, by the way, our Oregon is level 9, that's pretty dope as well. And look at that's what I'm saying. You see, he has laser towers. <laughs> he has plenty of trebuchet inside the castle. This guy is camping, you know. <laughs> this guy is camping really a lot. So we gotta make sure to kill all this stuff. Extremely important. Kill, 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 kill. Okay. I am over here. I am over here. Now we can build the end moods. I mean, I'm very scared to go inside the case though. Inside the base though, guys. I'm very scared about that because I believe this base has such a crazy durability. And I'm very afraid to feed him. I'm not afraid about losing the army because I have enough money to replace them. But I'm afraid of feeding him so much that he might get like 10 power points collected from one single fight. And that I might not even be able to finish him off. And this guy was smart by the way. He was hiding his army outside of the castle. Very smart move from the Gondor player, I gotta admit. Now we gotta call on the ants. And we need to kind of try to kill as many towers as we can, right? I mean, these towers are so, are so scary, especially now because we have Glorious Charge on cooldown. I don't want to go inside the genes, guys. But we can recruit uh, more ants from the ant mood and also recruit three beards, the daddy of the ants. But first of all, let's try to kill as many towers as we can. Okay. Oh, here's trap oh, oh, man. Okay, I mean, I don't know, man. I don't know, man. You know, Isengard has defeated Mordor, uh, Yoda, the Mordor player at the top right that has left the game. I think he knew that he can't do much about us right now, but dealing with a camper is just not fun. Okay, we have now more ants coming up. That's good. But our ants are burning, and they are so vulnerable against fire too. And that's, I mean, my bad, I guess, because we gotta, we had to keep up the, uh, keep the distance. You know what I'm saying? Like, spacing is very important. The ants are outranging catapults. Uh, barely, right? And for that reason, we need to stay slightly out of the range of the trebuchet. He's repairing the gate. I think we need to break a part of the wall at this point. Can I just spam end moods? Hopefully everything is gonna be great because end moods are so expensive too. They cost 5,000 each. Our castle is looking good. And we gotta kill those traps. We gotta kill those trebuchet. 
One part of the world, please. That's all I'm asking. Oh my goodness, this Rohan. Again, we are sandwiched, dude. Stop it. Let me fight against one guy, old. <laughs> okay. Hey, Rohan, you are annoying me. You know what? I will mess you up. I will mess you up. You will pay for that. You are killing my ants. You think you can get away with that? I have, I have my I have cloud break, my friend. There comes the snowing, stunning effect. And guess what? For death and glory, all you want, all your units are gonna die. And Tyrion got sniped down instantly. And there we go. We gotta focus down the heroes, guys. Let's kill Legolas first. Look how fast it's gonna go down. Oh, hold on a second. We gotta be careful with our own heroes. He slowed down. He slowed down. Look, look, Legolas. You see? Shoot a couple of more times, please, please, please. Okay, be careful with the heroes, though. Nice. We sniped him too. That's very good. Let's kill Eoma next. Eoma, you will die as well. Eoma, boom. That's good. Again, Eowen, boom. All his heroes are gone. <laughs> All his heroes are gone. And now we have leadership available. Now we have more leadership. There is Gimli actually kind of slaughtering us behind, but Gimli is no more. And now he got a bail. He got a bail. He got a bail. He needs to revive all the heroes. That's gonna cost him a lot of time and money. Hopefully, he will leave us alone a little bit. You know, because because of him, we couldn't finish off this Gondor. Now that comes, that comes Gandalf. But trust me, this Gandalf has not the chance to approach our army, guys. We have like. Legolas level 10, that alone is means every shot is gonna hit like an absolute track on the face of the Mifrandia. And he has so many traps now. Oh man. Oh, can I catch him? Please, 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 please. Don't move. Oh, he is moving. Okay. I mean, if you catch him with the Arrowwind, he will die. If you catch only, only Gandalf with Arrowwind and Gandalf all alone, Legolas is able to hunt it to zero him. Let's go now. I mean, during all this time, Rohan was fighting a little bit for the map control, which is kind of annoying. <laughs> and he will get so much money. We need to make sure to cut his resource income. You know, this way, losing the heroes is going to be a bit more punishing. Right? I mean, when you... At this point, we don't get any value, right? We have all the power points unlocked already. That means every fight we take is actually going to favor the opening player. Because we have nothing to gain. We have all the power points unlocked. And at this stage of the game, it's about to not feed power points. Because... The last thing we want is actually the opponent getting EOD. <laughs> you know, that's the... We can We might even lose the game of that. It means we should not take, like, very questionable and, uh, you know, bad fights. This might cost us the winning game at this point. Okay, we have great amount of map control. I want to heal up a little bit more. And we need to eventually wait now for the next EOD summon before we can go inside the jeans. Because the defense of the Gondor Castle seems unbreakable. So we need to coordinate that with the EOD, break the gate, make EOD tank as much as we can, send in the Rohirrim first, normal Rohirrim with the shields, because they have the horseman shields that makes them much tankier against arrows and Rohirrim archers, and then when we, once we are inside the castle, we gotta focus down the buildings and the buildings all alone. Okay, the good thing is we have Theoden almost level 9, Elwin level 10, Aragorn almost level 10 too, Elma and Legolas are also level 10. That's pretty good for us. And I wanna fight for the map control. You know what? We can also eventually siege this Rohan. Because I am thinking about it, you know, attacking this Gondor is going to create, you know, much more casu casualties. Right? And I don't want him to get a lot of power points from my fight so we can leave gondor for the last that's why we can now go for a for a siege on the rohan even though we have aod backup so i'm actually very insecure at this point i don't know what we are supposed to do and what is going to be the right call because one mistake might lead us to lose our entire army and our army is so powerful i mean losing this army is going to give you more than 15 power points in total Okay, okay, okay. So, ah, man, Gondor, you are annoying me. <laughs> I'm gonna leave Rohan for the last, actually. Come on now. Let's, oh, oh. Okay, you wanna go inside? You wanna do that? Oh, what is what is happening in the meantime? Do two attacks. The, uh, one guy is base rushing me, the other guy wanna fight me. Okay. Aragorn, use Blade Master, please. Dude. Are we losing this? We gotta use the Elven Wood. Kill Aragorn first. Let's use the Elven Wood to cover this. Aragorn first. Aragorn first. That's good. Our Aragorn is in a good spot. I see Gimli jumping. I don't know what is going on. 
Holy moly, we are losing everything. We gotta kill his heroes, guys. We gotta focus on the heroes. On our heroes, our heroes. Please, 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 please. Okay, we are in a good spot. We are still in a good spot. Let's use heal. I missed Legolas with my heal. No, no. But in the meantime, this guy is in my castle. So I don't want to use EOD here, guys. I don't I don't want that. Because if I would use EOD, that's gonna that's what the Gonda play wants. So we gotta close the gate and hopefully the towers are gonna be... Okay, we need to now retreat. This is so mean. This is so mean. Like, we are fighting. We are being engaged on in the middle of the map. And at the very same time, the Gondo opening is actually gate rushing us. Okay, I mean, now you will blame me in the chat. And you will be like, blame me in the comment section down below and say, Yeah, but Shanks, why are you not closing your gate? You are absolutely right. But I don't like it, okay? I don't like it. I'm not gonna use EOD here, guys. I'm not, I know it's risky. I know. You might even lose the game of that. I don't care. I'm not going to waste my EOD for that. Oh, man. He's summoning the eagles, too. Let's kill the eagles first. We need to kill them before they mess up our, our army, big, you know, a lot. Okay. I mean, again, we have nothing to gain here. We are only losing because we have already all the power points unlocked. So we are not gaining anything here. Repair, please. Oh, my goodness. Can we do it? This guy is we defeating. Run. Oh, he killed yeah. every farm on guys. And now you might ask, yeah, Shanks, why did you not close the gate? I didn't close the gate because of content. Because of content. And for that reason, please, please make sure to leave a like on this video and also subscribe. <laughs> oh my, let's go. Okay, let's go. Now, you are my opponent, Gondor. That was Gondor. <laughs> when my castle was almost falling inside my castle, Gondor is my foe. Gondor is my opponent. And my opponents don't get the chance to live long enough. Okay, so we have end summon, EOD summon. We are not even healed up, but I don't want to hesitate. I don't want to actually lose too much. I don't know, man. Maybe we should be actually healing up a little bit <laughs> because our army is actually badly damaged. We, you know, they are not dead, but they are badly damaged. This Rohan is actually annoying me. Like, while I'm fighting somebody, he's always attacking my farms. <laughs> Stop it! Okay, we need to build double well. I want to heal up double stable. I mean, at this point, it's about spamming units, you know. I want to heal up a little bit, a little bit. Make sure that we have enough recovery. And that's going to be good because in the meantime, our heal from the spellbook is reloading too. We should be in a good spot. And maybe I will be building another wall banner on the other side. Let's go Gimli anyway. Let's recruit more units. Yeah, let's, you know, I, I'm actually pretty tempted. I will, I will, demo <coughs> sorry, I will demolish those wells uh, after we are healed up and build statues there. And you know what? I will be opening my gate once again. And I dare anybody who is gonna try to enter my castle without asking me, without knocking the door. The door might be open, but that doesn't mean you are allowed to enter. <laughs> you know, you need to still ask for permission. Hey, knock, knock, who is there? Gondor, can I enter your castle? And I will say, yeah, sure, or no. Okay, so heal up a little bit. And yeah, uh, okay, so we have like double wall banner now on each side. So this way we have double protection from, you know, left and right. That's pretty good. And once we are healed up to full HP, we are ready to go. I want to recruit some normal Rohirrim because we got to send them in first, once again, into the Gondor castle after breaking through the defense and make them kill the enemy trebuchet. That's their goal. If they die, I don't care. And hopefully the only, uh, you know, the only doubts I have it's about the PowerPoint department of the Gondor player. I don't know about how many PowerPoints he has collected. We have seen the Eagles, so he might be really close to the EOD special summon. You know what I'm saying? Okay, so... And the good thing about this situation is we are really close for the army of the Dead special summon from Aragorn too. It means we would have the chance to summon twice EOD. Okay, double statue, you know, just to make sure that they have enough... Um, see it enough dps and by the way um there is a golden rule and the golden rule is you are not allowed to buy a second castle in three for all matches that's why you might be wondering yeah but why didn't you buy the castle from isengard that's the reason because if you would do that it's just not fun because it's never gonna end because you can run around for the map control and buy a castle close the gate or label us Aragorn, you don't want to do that. Hey, Rohan, let me alone. Let me go to Gondor and do my thing. Stop it. Stop it, bro. Otherwise, I will turn on you and you will heal my anger, okay? Dude, this teaming up, this big gate rushing, beast rushing, come on now, that's tilting me. And you go to war, break the gate. To the farm. And he was building, uh, rebuilding even the part of the wall we were able to break before. You know what? Let's go ham. Let's go ham. Let's go ham. 
Look this guy, boss. You see, he's smart. This guy is actually smart. He's like, okay, he might go for the EOD summon once again. We need to actually, he's placing the trebuchet around the bees. This way I cannot kill them all. <laughs> Look, here's even one of them outside. I've seen it, my friend. I have seen it. But let's kill them all at, the, at this point. Somebody, somebody's using uh, Cloud Freak. Oh, this Rohan is attacking me again. Dude, leave me alone. Did I lose my Legolas? You are annoying me. This Rohan is tilting me, boys. Okay, you know what? We gotta do stuff now. We need to revive Legolas. And we gotta make something happen. Because if we just hesitate, this game is never gonna end. Look, he was so smart. He was even hiding in his Gandalf. And he's gone the nights outside. That's so tilting. We need to send in the end first. No, end first. This way you can absorb damage. That's all I'm asking you for. And you don't need to do anything else. Just move, 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 move. Go to war. As 3 bit was saying it. I mean, we will try to repair the gate, but we won't let that happen, obviously, right? We won't let that happen, okay. Okay, now go end. Now, boys, we gotta focus down the buildings and the buildings all alone, okay? We need to kill the one trebuchet inside the castle, though. Let's use Glorious Charge. He's using Roll Hit him, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Kill the trebuchet. Kill this trebuchet. We can kill this Gandalf. I mean, Gandalf is gonna, I mean, Gandalf is gonna be dead in a second. So now, turn and kill the structures only. Let's take it down first. And this is not tanking, you see? That's very smart from us, right? And was tanking all these arrows until very recent. Until the last second. Aragorn is level 10. This Rohan is engaging with us again. Hey, Rohan, you know what? I have a surprise for you. I summon you to fulfill, fulfill your... I can't even talk. I'm gonna write it down now. Because my Cloud Break is gonna slow it down. And you can't disengage my AOT. Take this. Take this. Get your army wiped out. Get your army wiped out. Elvin, don't I? Shield Maiden of Rohan. And this Gondor is gonna be defeated, boys. This Gondor is going down. I don't care about losing Elvin. The Eagles are coming. They can come all they want. I will have to just kill the last remaining marketplace. And Gondor, the camper, the White City or whatever it's called, has been finally defeated. And now, Rohan, you, yes, you, who was trying to come to me while I was fighting somebody else. Now I'm coming to you, my friend. I'm coming for you now. Get ready. Get ready. Holy guacamole. I mean, we lost a lot of heroes. We lost Legolas, Gimli, and Eowyn. But it's okay, I guess. And now, we know from a six-player map, only two of us are remaining. And, you know, one of us is too much. And we need to change that. We need to change that. <laughs> Let's build double well, because I don't think this Rohan is going to come to our castle anytime soon. We need a lot of sustain. And because it turned into a 1v1 situation, as you can see, we have also now 250 command points available in total. Which is pretty good. The only thing is we have not enough, enough map control. But we don't really need that. I mean, we might need it though. Because look at our money. We had like almost, oh, oh, you know, all the time over 10,000. Now we are dropping down below 5,000. That's pretty scary to me. Okay. Our army is looking solid though. Our army is looking really, really strong. <laughs> Alright, yeah, so... Um, I don't know what this Rohan has. I didn't check the level of his heroes because I, they were getting one shot anyway, right? And I don't know how close he is to EOD. But let me tell you that much. The only way he can stop our army is by having the army of the Red Special Summon. But this army is so much superior than his army because everybody is level 10. If even Aragorn level 10. It means we have a small EOD Summon, which he doesn't have, right? And all of that stuff is obviously gonna favor us in this big clash, upcoming clash. And we need to go for it now. Now, right now. For ruin and for world's ending. Come on now, come on now. I mean, I'm pretty tempted to sell those archers on top of the hole, you know, to my citadel, but they have served me so nicely. Uh, I'm an emotional person. I cannot just sell them now, you know what I'm saying? After all what they did for me, Imagine, you know, you are firing somebody from your company after all the stuff he did for you, even though you don't really need them at this point anymore. Doesn't mean they are bad, but you just don't need them, really. I'm an emotional person. <laughs> you know, I cannot sell them. Okay, boys. Now, um, I want to make sure we, that we focus with one Rohirrim on the map control. I just want to make sure that, you know, if everything goes, you know, again, be, be prepared for the wars and hope for the best. So we don't hope that this is going to happen. We don't hope that we might lose everything, but we need to be prepared for the worst case scenario, just in case you might lose the fight. 
just in case he has AOD and we need to eventually replace everything. Because after all the suffering, after being gate rushed, beast rushed, teamed on, I just don't want to lose this game. So I will do everything in my in my in my hands to deny that from happening. Okay. For that reason, as we will be putting pressure on him and build the end mode right on the spot, we will also uh, make sure to have the full map control at the same time. Get those mills, get those farms, get those settlements. Okay, so nice, nice, nice. Now we need to wait a little bit because we need 5k for the end mode, and we should be in a good spot. And we can also summon the ends from the spare book. I mean, look at that. How many times do you see actually Elma, Theodin, Aragorn, Legolas, and Elven level 10 at the same time? Oh my god. No way. I really thought this Rohan is at the bottom left side. <laughs> Dude, I am. What is going on with my brain? I forgot that Isengard was here. And all of a sudden. What? Okay, I mean, we will lose a lot of time now with the ends, but it is how it is. Okay, we will have a fight here. Right? We will have a fight here. We can use Cloud Break and fight this eventually. Let's see. Oh, he has Legolas shooting from the other side. Yeah, Legolas, and look at that. He has Legolas, Gimli, and Aragorn side by side. I'm just worried about his AOD. I don't know how close he is to AOD, though. Again, the only way he can defeat us is with AOD. Chase down Aragorn, maybe? Chase him down, chase him down, chase him down. He can use Cloud Break, but again, the heroes don't get affected by it anyway, so... Oh, the jump! Holy moly, he crashed me! He crashed me so much, we killed Gimli, but he, the jump was legendary. In the meantime, keep focusing on the map control, boys. The ends were kind of blown away for no reason. We can now build the end mode right on the spot. And we should be in a good spot. I mean, we, look at look at the, you know, on the minimap at the same time. This guy is annoying me. I'm really tempted to just summon AOD on his face. And there you go, my friend. I'm going to summon AOD on your face. Cloud break to slow them down a little bit. This way they cannot move. Because he was annoying me. He's like running around killing my farms all the time, you know? Okay, now you gotta... Oh, he's also UT! <laughs> okay, run. Disengage. Disengage, please. Aragorn, you gotta stand and fight. Aragorn can kill EOD. And running away with Aragorn against EOD is not possible because EOD is able to outrun every single infantry hero. Everybody on foot will get outrun. Aragorn, please stand and fight. It's, you know, only the king of Gondor can beat us. And we still lose air. Fight for me. Oh, he's fighting. They are fighting against us, Aragorn. Gimli, don't die. And now you see why the map control is so important. Now you see that. Look, reviving Aragorn on all alone is gonna be 3,500. Gimli, Gimli, don't die. Okay, Gimli got away, actually. That's good. And even the end mood was able to survive. Now, the good thing is we have good amount of map control. That means we should be slowly but surely. <laughs> dude, that's, this game is actually fiesta, my dude. This game is actually absolute fiesta. What? I mean, it's a long one as well. We were, what, it's like one hour game so far. That's unbelievable. That's unbelievable. I hope you guys enjoy this one, though. Okay. So, I mean, six player free for all might be a little bit too much. I personally, if, you know, at all, I enjoy the four player free for all matches on the midfoot. You know, it's a pretty small map. This map feels ginormous, like gigantic map, right? That's what she said. It is like very hard to rotate from one location to the other location. And also on, on a map like this, you have no outputs, right? You need to literally walk all the way back to your castle if you want to be able to heal up. Or if you want to bring reinforcement. And you gotta keep in mind that we are playing with mobile units. Imagine you have like combos or swordmen. How long they would need from one location to that other location to walk in a map like this. Okay, so, um, yeah, I mean, let's go. I believe we, we gotta, I mean, we need to now play around the cooldown. We need to know, okay, he has no EOD summon available anymore. And that's the point when we need to punish him. Men of Rohan. Okay, so here's Aragorn, but it's fine. Uh, we have Legolas level 10. I mean, he should have a lot of crazy DPS at this point. And again, keep the one Rohirrim to keep killing those farms. And guys, we have summoned EOD how many times? Like three, four times, right? At least four times. Yeah, we have summoned once on Isengard, once on, hold on, we'll die. You have summoned on, once on Isengard, once on the Rohan army before to kill the Rohan army, and twice in the Gondor castle. 
but just understand how long we have AOD unlock for. It's unbelievable. Keep a watchful eye. We must we defend must our country. Wary. Let's move okay. on. Okay. I am over here. Prepare for Keep battle. Your senses alert. Away. Be ready. Another. Keep pressuring all the time, boys. Keep pressuring all the time. We can also kill these towers with the. I mean, Rohan battle towers can be killed and destroyed, unlike the Gonda ones because they are made of wood, and Gonda is made of stone. Stone worker. The Numenorian. Be ready. Okay, and guys, by the way, question for you, uh, which I'm curious about. You can let me know in the comment section down below. What are your expectations about the upcoming Lord of the Rings series? I am assuming you have seen the trailer. You have seen the te teaser. And I'm also curious uh, what your expectations are. My expectations personally were higher until I was able to see the teaser in trailer. I wish I could make it undone. <laughs> you know, I could... I, oh, wait a second. I missed the arrow went but I, I wish i would have for, i could forget about it <laughs> but it is gonna be always in my brain now and the only thing i'm worried about actually is if they actually kind of ruin the image we have in our brains about the lord of the rings you know because the thing is as you guys know it's been over 20 years now right since the fellowship of the ring since the lord of the rings trilogy and still after this many years every time you think about them uh, about the films and you rewatch them you have still the smile in your in your face this Legolas actually demolishing us. And the goosebumps you still get. Oh my, this Legolas is crushing us. Okay, we should be focusing again on the gameplay, guys. Sorry for that. All right. So, we need to kind of hurry up, though. I mean, we need to hurry up because he's reloading his EOD. That is my Aragorn head. That is my Aragorn head, actually, guys. We need to kill him. We need to kill him. I want to kill a steel in though. I mean, the thing is, he's on his own Elven Wood, if I'm not mistaken. So I don't want to step up too close to this area. Oh, be careful. Go hit him. They got us. Be careful. Oak. Oh, close. Smite Elven. Never mind. Go back, go back, go back. I don't want to lose you. I don't want to lose you. Elven, shoot me enough Rohan. We got to be used. Okay, nice. To be able to get away. Oh my goodness. What a camping situation, boys. Holy moly. Right, we have at least full map control, though that's pretty good. Let's call on the ends once again and let's start the siege. If also Gimli up on the up on the field. And yeah, we, we need to hope for the best at this point, right? We need to hope for the best and um, try to do as much economical damage as we potentially can. I don't think this Rohan has too much money at this point, right? He has almost no map control. He has like one single farm outside. That's it. We have all the farms outside. So he has nothing. And the, the amount of damage dealt to him is going to be much greater because of that reason than the amount of damage will be dealt to me. So I can afford to lose units, right? He can't. Because he has not the eco to revive and recruit more units. Okay, Aragon is back on the menu too. That's good. Aragon has the EOD summon. Let's use Cloud Break. Looks like we're gonna have a fight here. Wanna fight? I'm down fighting. For death and glory. Well, you gotta focus on his heroes first. That's very important. Legolas first. Legolas first. Nice. Legolas is still gone. That means he will lose a lot. Again, killing his heroes is very essential because then he cannot revive them anymore. He has no money for that. Oh, he's actually using the Alvin Wood, okay? We can summon the EOT though from Aragorn and just run them down at this point. Run them down, run them down, run them down. Okay. We killed this entire army. I think only Aragorn is going to be able to survive eventually, but we can also chase him down with the EOD summon. That's the game breaking point. If you get Aragorn level 10, it's just like crazy, you know? Ara Trust me, guys. Aragorn level 10 is even more impactful than uh, Gandalf level 10 because EOD is so much more useful in many more situations. Right, then the enemy has massive leadership. The water power is not gonna do anything but knock them back. But EOD doesn't care about leadership. The trolls, they are almost immune to damage from water power, but EOD is gonna still one shot them. I mean, okay, now we have EOD special summon, but we also know that he has the EOD special summon. So now we need to play a bit more smart about that. We need to kind of make him use the EOD on a small group of army. Right, oh, hold on. Okay, we have heal from the spell book. We can fight this. Look, Aragorn, guys. And you guys are complaining about Aragorn. Yes, you. There was somebody who was always crying about Aragorn. Aragorn is so weak now. <laughs> but is this guy weak? Is this guy weak? Tanking all these arrows inside the Rohan, killing two fully upgraded Rohirrim, and wiping out the entire base. Is this guy weak? And that's the nerfed Aragorn, by the way, guys. That's the nerfed version. 
And when we decide to nerf his armor from the Anduri sword, many of you guys will Aragorn is so weak now. And I, I'm asking, how is this guy weak? Hold on a second. Hey, <laughs> okay, he's so weak now. <laughs> he's so weak. He dies to Elmer Spear. All right, we need to take the revenge. Take the revenge. Use the Calvin the Nice. Finish him off. Hey, Elma, you are not getting anywhere, my friend. AOD on your face. And we killed Legolas. We killed Theoden. We killed Elma. We killed Aragorn. That means. He, can, he doesn't even have a citadel, right? He can't I mean, look at how expensive the Aragorn is. We have actually no money. All right, so now we got to make a smart move. We need to kind of make him think we are going for an all-out fight. In reality, we don't do that. We need to make him use EOD on a small group of units. And then once the EOD is disappearing, then we can go ham. So we can make them a bit stronger with Glorious Charge, you know? We have another army here, Reezy. So we got to keep this army safe. And make him use AOD on the two battalions. That's the only way we can handle the situation. Let's just lower his charge. And go ahead. Him, him, him. Go, 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 go. Oh, he's summoning AOD. Hey, okay, but. Back, 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 back. Okay, we are in a perfectly fine spot. That's exactly what we wanted, guys. We wanted him to use and blow, blow away his AOD. Now we need to. He's even summoning ants. Uh, now we can just wait until the AOD is gone and then we can go for a bit. All right, so even you guys can join out the party, Yeoman Archers. Just wait. Just wait. Hold on a second. Gimli, I will jump with you. You will not die today. Jump, Gimli. Haha. <laughs> nice. Uh, close. Get closer. Can you get away? AOD, how long do you have left in Middle Earth? Come on, be gone, AOD. Be gone. Be gone, Felbeast. And around the rosy. Okay, nice. Gimli is a survivor. Dope. Very, very dope. That's what we want to see. Okay, perfect. Now we can go. Okay, never mind. He actually gives up. All right. GG well played, guys. I hope you enjoyed this one. I want to see how many units we killed in compared to opponents. Okay. Oh, look at that. 1,200 units. I think we have killed more units than all the other five players combined. And also more money. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you next time. Until then, keep hitting like a truck. And as always, stay beyond standards. Peace out.